This universe is only one of an infinite number. Worlds without end. Some benevolent and life-giving. Others filled with malice and hunger. Dark places where powers older than time lie ravenous and waiting. Who are you in this vast multiverse, Mr. Strange? Yo, what up, what up, everyone? Tay here. So after Blade was announced at Comic-Con, I saw a lot of people who are probably only familiar with the Wesley Snipes Blade movies wondering how Blade and vampires could work in the MCU. Well, I think this Blade movie will be way, way different from the Wesley Snipes movies and will go out of its way to include Marvel aspects in order to kind of fit this in to the world of the MCU. So in this video, I want to talk about how the Eternals and villains of WandaVision and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness could set up the Blade movie as well as just the dark MCU in general. And this movie also ties in a lot of stuff that we talked about in the last two videos, which was on WandaVision, Doctor Strange 2, and the Eternals movie. So both of those videos are linked at the top of the description down below if you would like to check them out, because that'll help you kind of further understand some of the stuff we are talking about in this video. And of course, if you are a fan of Marvel and the MCU, then please subscribe and remember to click the bell. I've gotten some DMs after the last few videos of people saying, hey, I'm not getting notified. So be sure to click that bell and set it to always notify. And also come hit me up on Twitter and then you will see when videos are posted because I always post them on there as well. So yeah, besides all that, let's get into it. but you announced Blade at the end. Is Blade part of phase four? And is what we saw on the screen the complete phase four? Or will there be other things possibly added? Uh, it is the complete phase four. The way I announced the complete phase three five years ago, things can move, things can change as they did if you go back and look at what we talked about five years ago for phase three. But we've been working on this for quite a while and it's pretty set, but there are always, there are always changes possible. So is Blade in Phase 4? No. Okay, so if you watched the video two posts back, we talked about how Doctor Strange and Hawkeye, as well as other characters like Shuri and Quicksilver, could potentially appear in the WandaVision series due to Wanda having a mental breakdown induced by the events of Infinity War and the death of Vision that causes her to create this false reality that she lives in, similar to her story arc in the Avengers Disassembled comics. So if that's the case, then it's possible that in a way Wanda could end up being not the villain per se, but the antagonist of that show. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't a larger, darker force behind the scenes kind of pulling the strings. Dark forces that could go on to be the villain of the Multiverse of Madness. And when I think about that, the two dark entities that come to mind are Mephisto and the Elder God Cthon both of which could tie into and set up the Blade movie and a larger dark MCU in general. But we'll come back to that. Now, in the last video, we went through the four celestial host events and how, in a way, the Eternals movie will be like an origin story for the entire MCU. And that the events in the Eternals movie could set up stuff like mutants, Atlantis, and also vampires, and future dark MCU movies and or Disney Plus shows. But let's step back from that for a minute and start with Cthon. So in that last video, we covered all four of the celestial host events, which the first host event was millions of years ago when the celestials came to Earth and experimented on early primates, resulting in the deviants, humans, and eternals. 
Well, way back before that, billions of years ago, the Demiurge, an entity that is the life force of Earth's biosphere, seeded the Earth with its essence, and from this, it resulted in the birth of the Elder Gods, one of which was C'thon, an archetypal demon and Earth's first master of dark magic. And billions of years ago, C'thon wrote all of his dark knowledge and spells on indestructible parchment that would later become known as the book The Darkhold, which is the most powerful book of dark magic in existence in the Marvel Universe. Then later, during the 6th century, sorcerer Morgan Le Fay bound a portion of C'thon's essence inside Wondagor Mountain where years and years and years later after that, C'thon bonded part of his essence to a young Wanda Maximoff. So that's where it starts to tie into Wanda's storyline. But let's get back to the Darkhold. So around 18500 BC, not too long before Atlantis sank into the ocean due to the Celestials' attack on Earth during the second host event, an Atlantean cult called the Darkholders used the Darkhold to create the first vampire, Varne. And that is, in a nutshell, the beginnings of the vampire race, which eventually led to Vlad Tepes, a.k.a. Dracula or Vlad the Impaler, who was turned in 1459. So yeah, but anyways, the point is, is that there is this vast connection between the backstories of vampires, Blade, Scarlet Witch, and Doctor Strange that trace back to the Elder Gods. For instance, not all of the Elder Gods are malevolent like C'thon. C'thon's sister Gaia, or the Elder Oshchur, were more good and benevolent beings. And the Elder God Oshchur was the creator of Agamotto, the first Sorcerer Supreme of the Mystic Arts. And Oshchur and Agamotto, along with the magical entity Hogoth, all together compose the Vishanti, a trio of dimensional beings who help imbue practitioners of the Mystic Arts with their powers and abilities. And it's been said that in Doctor Strange 2, we are going to see Wanda finally get the moniker of Scarlet Witch and the reasons behind that. And in the comics, one of the reasons Wanda is so powerful isn't just because she has actual powers, but because she's also a practitioner of magic, which is enhanced due to her already existing power set. And Wanda Maximoff was tutored in the ways of magic by the witch Agatha Harkness. Now, it's possible that Agatha Harkness could be introduced in the MCU. There's been some rumors that she could be introduced in WandaVision. But it might also be more likely that Doctor Strange will be the character to fill that role of mentoring Wanda in the ways of magic in Doctor Strange 2. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move on and talk more specifically about Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. In Vision and the Scarlet Witch, Volume 2, Number 3, Scarlet and the Vision found out it was impossible for a human and an android to conceive. So, Scarlet Witch had her very own Marvel Immaculate Conception. She used magic to make herself pregnant and gave birth to twin boys. And the twins turned out to be shards of the demon Mephisto. Scarlet Witch fled to Wondagore Mountain. Okay, so Scott Derrickson has said that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will be the MCU's first horror film, exploring all the dark gothic elements from the comics. Now, after Comic-Con, it was falsely reported that Nightmare was confirmed to be the villain for Doctor Strange 2. Which, by the way, I'm just trying to call it Doctor Strange 2 because saying in the Multiverse of Madness every time is just too long. So anyways, as far as Nightmare being confirmed as the villain, that has not actually been confirmed. But it would make sense as director Scott Derrickson has spoken multiple times about wanting to bring Nightmare into the MCU. Now, Nightmare is a dimensional conceptual entity, and the concept of him is that he is the living embodiment of fear and the subconscious. And he is also one of the Fear Lords and the ruler of the Nightmare World in the Dream Dimension. 
Now, I'll come back to Nightmare in a minute, but there's another villain that's connected to both Wanda and Doctor Strange that we could potentially see in this movie as well, and that is Mephisto. Now, Mephisto is a demon that rules over a realm called Hell that he named that because he wanted it to mimic that of the biblical Hell, and Mephisto wanted to kind of pose as that biblical version of the devil, but he's not. Now, Mephisto is one of the main villains to Doctor Strange, as well as Scarlet Witch, and also Ghost Rider, or the multiple Ghost Riders, whom Mephisto cursed with the power of the demon Zarathos, which is what lives inside of Ghost Rider and gives him his power. Mephisto is also an enemy to the Midnight Suns, which is an occult supergroup that's had various members throughout the comics and whose origins go back thousands of years to pre-Cataclysm Atlantis, where the original Order of the Midnight Suns opposed that same Ghost Rider demon, Zarathos. And in modern times, Doctor Strange reformed the Midnight Suns team, which included Blade and the Night Stalkers, Johnny Blaze, the Daniel Ketch version of Ghost Rider, Morbius, and the Darkhold Redeemers. And Doctor Strange formed this group to battle the Sumerian god and vampire, Lilith. Well, there was more to it than that. Part was to battle Lilith, and the other part was to try and get a hold of the Darkhold. Anyways, the point of all of this and everything I'm covering and talking about in this video is that with the Blade movie coming and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness set to be the MCU's first real take on the horror genre, it makes me think that Doctor Strange 2 is laying the foundation for what could be a larger interconnected series of movies and or Disney Plus shows based on the dark horror characters from the Marvel Universe. It could even lead to the Midnight Suns forming and getting their own movie or possibly forming in another character's film. And I could definitely see the MCU introducing Johnny Blaze as Ghost Rider. But let's go back to Doctor Strange 2 for a moment. So with a name like The Multiverse of Madness, I think it's going to be a pretty big movie. And like I said, Nightmare being the villain would definitely make sense. But if he is the villain, maybe he won't be the only villain. I could see a scenario where the movie has multiple dimensional villains to face off against, including the Dweller in the Dark or the Shuma Gorath or both. And with the movie featuring Doctor Strange and Wanda teaming up, a story based around Cthon and the Darkhold would also make a lot of sense. Because in the old comic series, Doctor Strange, Rise of the Darkhold, Wanda and Doctor Strange actually went up against Cthon in an attempt to try and retrieve the Darkhold. Now, I know a lot of people think that it will actually be Scarlet Witch who is the main villain of Doctor Strange 2. Well, if the movie adapts this story I'm talking about, then that could definitely and is almost likely to happen because in that story, Cthon takes possession of Wanda's body, which that would be awesome to see in the MCU because it would be the demon Cthon with all of Scarlet Witch's powers. And adapting this story would also make perfect sense to set up Doctor Strange's connection and team up with Blade because this story also includes Dracula who wants to get the Darkhold for himself because it contains a spell that can eradicate all vampires, which is another reason why Doctor Strange wants it. So yeah. Anyways, enough with all that. I think as always we've covered enough. This video's had a lot of layers and topics to talk about, so I think we'll call it there. You guys let me know what you think. Um, who would you like to see introduced from those more dark and horror sides of the Marvel comics? I really want to see the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider in the MCU, and I really want to see the Midnight Suns. Anyways, please like and subscribe, everybody. Like I said, click that bell and also come hit me up on Twitter and hit me up with any topic requests you might have. Check out those other recent videos I was talking about linked in the description down below, plus other Marvel videos. We've got a lot of them here. That's pretty much all we cover. Not always, but uh, there's probably something else I'm forgetting to mention, but that's okay. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will be back soon.